The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Louis. I believe we have all star charts. This star boy on the line, Mr. J.C. Parrots. How What's you doing, up, buddy? Larry? How you doing, my man? Still living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. It, running That's what into I like that. to hear. <laughs> I'm at eight and a quarter furlongs in a one mile race, so I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> hey, tell us what you're looking at today, buddy, with all this volatility we're seeing. Well, you know, it's a it's, it's been a good time to sell volatility is really what we've been doing. You know, when the volatility spikes, you know, we put on yep. different option strategies to capture that. You know, there are people getting chopped up, a lot of traders getting chopped up in this ranging mass. And really what they're doing, particularly on the option side, is giving donations, Larry. Can you imagine that? Yeah, so I, can. I really like to be on the other side of that. We look at it as, you know, cash laying there over on the sidewalk. You can either go pick it up or not. We we choose to. That's a good idea. There's an old adage at the old Chicago Mercantile Exchange, buy them when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling. So you're doing the right thing. Any particular thing that you really like, JC? That's one of the questions we had from one of our listeners this morning. Yeah, you know, financials hanging in there okay with interest rates doing what they're doing. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the charts. Are you able to see this, Larry, at all? Yes, yeah, we uh, certainly are. So go right ahead. Yep, we're in good Yeah, shape. you know, look at it. Looking at the XL left, those are the financials. Key Fibonacci extension level. You may have heard of this fella, Leonardo Fibonacci, Larry. Have you? Leonardo the piece of Fibonacci. I went to school with him in the third grade, then I transferred. I bet you did. Uh, <laughs> I used to pound beers with him back in the day in my uh so, um, you know, really hanging in there, a ton of relative strength. The types of, of stocks, Larry, that do well when interest rates are rising historically are things like financials, things like energy. Look at the uh, look at the stick that energy put in last week. Boom. Yeah. You know, new multi-year highs in energy stocks. So yeah. the stock market's really cooperating with what the bond market's doing. And if that's going to remain the case, you know, I, I continue to like financials. You know, look at the Dow Jones uh, Composite yeah. Index. Here you're looking at the 30 stocks in the Dow Industrials, the 20 stocks in the transports, and 15 yeah. in the old uh, utilities. So 65 stocks hanging in there where they need to hang in. So here's the trade. I like Morgan Stanley coming out of a 20-year base, Larry. If you're above those 2,000 highs, I think you own it. They keep raising their yeah. dividends every year. Again, well-defined risk because if you're not above those 2,000 highs, all bets are off. But above yeah. that, I like the relative strength in financials, no doubt. They're run by a really good guy, Jim Gorman. I had dinner with him a few times, and he's a really sharp dude that really loves his company. I'll tell you that. That's his uh, That's his lifeblood. We have one other question for one of our listeners in, in the, ga the game plan of what you're looking at. The uh, energy complex still looks pretty bullish as far as oil and energy and everything like that. You know, with a stick like that, putting in an outside reversal week um, within an ongoing uptrend, you know, there's there, sure. Can oil peak this afternoon and energy stocks get slaughtered? <laughs> of course, anything can happen. But there's just no evidence of that yet. Uh, yeah. So we're sticking with our hundred dollar oil call. And, you know, you and I, we've been doing this a while, Larry. You maybe a couple more years than me. But uh, if oil's going to 100, it's probably going to 110. Well, if it gets above 101, it's certainly go to 110. There's no question about that. Got to hey, hold JC, that 84, 84 hey, on uh, oil. If it's above that, I think it's fine. Below that, things get hairy. How do the folks reach you to get some more information about All Star Charts? You want to tell them how to do that? Yeah, I'm easy to find. Uh, you go to allstarcharts.com. You know, find me on Twitter at All Star Charts, Stock Twits, Instagram, YouTube uh, slash All Star Charts. Like I said, I'm easy to find. My DMs are open. Shoot me an email, info at allstarcharts.com. Say what's up. That sounds easy. And if you miss that, folks, just go to any post office. This picture's right there on the bulletin board. You can't miss it. Hey, listen, pal, I really appreciate you being on. And I tell you, if I could buy stock in you, I would. So, oh, well, we got, you got to buy leaps, Larry. Buy leaps <laughs> on GC. <laughs> at, your age, at your age, you'd have to. Anyway, listen to you, buddy. I, I Listen, I want to have you back on again soon, so thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. No doubt about it. Enjoy your week. Thank Yolo you so responsibly, much. Ladies and gentlemen.
Okay. Folks, that was J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts. I'll tell you, he is one of the sharpest, fine young men I've met in this business in a long time. The only one before him was about 10 years ago, or eight years ago, was Shane Smolian. He was right on the money. Let's take a quick look here at the German DAX. I posted that up so we, so we can take a look at it. Today's show is going to be about numbers, folks, so stay tuned. We're going to do some charts, but we're going to do some numbers, and we're going to have a little question and answer thing uh, going on here. But you can see this is the FTSE that we're looking at right now uh, we had a, a pretty big uh, really nice uh, butterfly pattern up there we had the break you can see the retracement stopped exactly at the 61 and 78 percent level uh, that gave a really strong rally up here and we're in the midst of a of a consolidation actually what it looks like they just had a meeting over in the british uh, at the british pound uh, place over there in the uk <laughs> sorry about that and uh it was uh, i guess well received because the uh the folks were clapping and screaming I mean, they, they, they make a lot of noise over there when they're voting, folks. You know, that's absolutely for sure. Now, I want to start with a little bit of a different mode today, folks. You know, these markets are run by numbers. It's just like, let me give you a, pro hold on one second. I need to take a small drink of water. There's no difference between the stock market and the betting that they do and the gambling folks, there, there, there is absolutely no difference. These these people that put the lines out, if you follow how the put lines are, uh, how they put the lines up, it's very seldom that these numbers go outside of those lines. And that's how they make their money. They make in a spread of anywhere between 5 and 10% on any bet, which is a, you know, an absolute uh, lock on it. But if you look at any of those football games, the eight of them that were played to get down to the last two uh, teams, I mean, I think every single game with the exception of one came within within just a hairs of, of the exact betting line I mean that's incredible and when they land they put the line out at three and a half and you don't have that half point you're you're in big trouble and that's how they make their money and that's how these stock market things folks let me let me give you a quick example it's happening right now as we get up here and take a look at this I'm going to show you right now this is the the last several days I'm using the wild one because that's the fun I could use the Dow I could use the other but this is the this is the uh, Nasdaq and as you can see here over these last few days here we're going back here to the 24th here we are out on the 30th 30 30 31st by the way today is new year's eve in china the uh chinese new year's start tomorrow the year of the tiger and i can hear tommy o'brien growling right now you can see the mean right here and you can see the standard deviations on the bottom well guess what we are folks we are within a hair's breadth uh, i think it's one four one four seven i forget the exact number but we're right there on this uh number that we're looking at here i think it's one four one four seven five oh is the exact number that i'm looking at today so watch that number in the nasdaq that's going to be a very interesting yes thank you very much bo gong hey fat choi lacy daloy that means good luck to you in the new year about the only three or four words that i know uh in chinese so let's get let's get back to the number situation folks well, let me explain to you what I'm looking at. I'm going to put up a chart here now, and it's going to be an interesting one. Oh, I've got to take a break. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the natural gas. Okay, now, I, you know, I, I try to give you as much information as I can, but, you know, <laughs> these markets jump around, so I want you not able to. But I saw uh, something today that I thought was relatively important because it related to these sequence of numbers that we deal with all the time. We are fighting against these algorithmic traders out there, folks. I'll go up and I'll go down. And I can tell you this with 100% certainty that they are using the numbers of the Fibonacci sequence or other numbers of sacred geometry. How do I know that? Because I see it happen over, to, over and over again, and it can be proved by looking at the standard deviation of the options players. The options players are about eight times the volume or more. We Sometimes we don't even know how much more. But there, that's where the real play is, is in those option markets. And as you uh, heard JC there, when they're dropping things like the VIX index and stuff or running it up, you know, they're selling premium and that's exactly what they do in the markets. They extend them up and they extend them down. And if you don't believe that, you just practice it a little bit and you'll see. Today's a perfect example of that. On the downside, we had the same thing happen and we're now we're heading to the upside. But I want to talk to you about the natural gas because the same, the same principle is in here that they're using. You'll notice that the natural gas had a huge move uh, last night it gapped way up in the air and then it came down and I, I marked it there that it was right at the uh, at the 50 percent I'm right right at the 50 percent retracement I believe and uh, had a big wide-ranging bar down now I, I, I posted on that I said th this is it filled the gap but it's not bullish does anybody want to, I know there's users that are driving the car at home, you don't get to see it. Well, you should see it, but if you have any idea, so the guys in the den here, why that was not a bullish number uh, that we had in natural gas on that pullback, do you want to take a guess? I'm going to show you in just a minute, but uh, oh my gosh, look at all the answers coming in here, and they're all correct. The reason is that was a very, very wide ranging bar that came in at that time. That in itself, should tell you that uh, you know you're probably not going to make any money on that. And look what happened here. You'll take a look at it. I'll bring it up and show you. There you are. You'll see. You see the gap was filled. It has a little tiny rally off of that 50% uh, retracement, and then bada bing, bada boom. 
down she goes and you know it's continued to go lower we're almost unchanged we are unchanged on the day right now so that energy complex is beginning to look really really interesting we're having good swings in the crude oil folks uh two dollars a barrel is no big deal it's you know you know two grand a contract that's equivalent to about 40 handles in the s p so we're seeing a lot of these things happening right now but in the stock market we are following along what we thought was going to happen all along. It just didn't happen on Friday. It might happen Monday. It might happen Tuesday. I don't know, but it's still doing exactly what we think it's going to do. We're in the midst of a five- to six-day rally in stocks that's going to end very badly. However, and I, I strongly urge you, if you don't get the the uh, newsletter, is to look at the charts that are there because there's some incredible ones as far as what the market actually did. Uh, let's just 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 take a look at the Russell folks because we don't I don't ever trade well not ever but almost never trade the Russell but I want to get this up here to show you uh, you know where we are let's get this up here and you'll be able to see it right here now this is the Russell and you'll notice here we made a perfect 50 percent retracement on the Russell as you can see here now that big dark line there that big red line that equals the one. Back in, in February of 2020, you can see them both. They're exactly equal. So there's a possibility we could get there. But look at the ABCD pattern on the weekly chart exactly at the 50. I think I missed it by one point. 50% retracement in the Russell. So we should be expecting a rally in the Russell. And that's exactly what we're getting. Do you remember Friday when we had the show? We talked about the FANG stocks that all made those ABCDs patterns. Even even Russell, uh, Russell, <laughs> even uh, Apple did down at the uh, you know the 158 level, and that took off. You know that that just exploded to the upside with that earnings things. But that's why your 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 rally's coming in. And and I will say this now: if this market continues to rally today, and we get a move above, uh, you know, up like up seven, about 90 to 100 handles in the S and P, we get it above that four in the futures market around 40. Uh, 4470 somewhere in that ballpark this thing could rally for four or five more days but it, it doesn't make any difference folks because the guy with that sickle is right behind it we're looking at one really bearish market and uh, I just can't you know tell you enough that that's uh, what's happening I want to show you the uh, sa same thing here if you look here because this is still valid here is the uh, E-mini Dow Jones over the last five days, we were looking for the high to come in right around 34753. Uh, go, go check your figures and see where it came in, folks. Uh, I don't know where it's trading now, but that was the high. So uh, that's nothing more than another ABCD. Now, this, all this does not work unless it starts to roll over and goes lower. And that's what you're looking at. I'm not looking at anything other than numbers. That's what got me here, and I'm not going to change the program uh, no matter what. I've had several questions about the U.S. dollar. How much time? we got two minutes in this section. I can quickly take, take a look at the euro because the euro came in today incredibly oversold, and we were expecting a small rally in the euro, and that's what we've got so far. Uh, but the euro is heading down uh, after we get this rally. We've been down, I think, we've only had one up one up day in the last uh, 13 days. So it's extremely oversold, but very, very bearish. Three, four, seven, no, uh, three, four, seven, two. Yep, I did. I did miss it, Bo. I thought it was going to be three, four, seven, one, four. Shut the front door. Well, forget about this. Well, I'm going back to my uh, oscillator days, and we're going to use my extended oscillating oscillator where I take four moving averages and I compare them with some other things. Folks, moving averages work if you know how to use them. I watch Basil Chapman. He's a magician at it, and so is Steve Rhodes. I don't do that. I believe in ABCD. I believe that I can make my money by looking at point D. Sometimes I get whacked. Sometimes I don't. But, you know, that's the name of the business. You know, that I tell you a funny joke. This was a, uh, uh, I think I've got enough time. This is a rabbi. He was complaining to the other rabbi. He says, you know, I just never play. I, I, I want to win the lottery all the time. And, you know, these all these numbers, I see them come up and everything, and nothing ever happens. And I don't know why. Why is God so tough with me? And his other rabbi said, Maury, Maury, you've got to buy a ticket. And that's what you're doing when you're trading, folks. You put a number on.
And you either go with it or you don't. You have to believe in what you're doing. I've been doing this a long time, folks. And uh, as you can see, you know, we've we've had some really good winners. We have some losers along the way. We don't have any really big losers because that's the guy you got to watch behind you is the one you make the mistake on. The first mistake teaches you. The second mistake kills. And that's the one you want to remember, that second mistake. Don't make that second mistake. You remember Warren Buffett's rules? You know, uh, 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 what was it? Never, uh, I can't even remember what the first one is. Uh, I, I've lost. I know the second one is don't violate rule number two, but I can't remember what. Oh, rule number one, never lose any money. Rule number two, never break rule number one. Well, you're going to have losses along the way. So that's sort of a uh, oxymoron, but uh, that's what it is. But you know, you're going to have it. Keep your losses small and keep your chips to your vest. You'll be fine. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart going back to 2020 when we had the COVID experience. You see the big drop we had, and uh, I think we're here right now. That's what we're seeing. We've seen the first part of the drop. We're now in the midst of this five, six, seven day, eight day rally. I don't know where it's going to stop, but maybe it was today. We had some ABCDs there, but that's what I'm looking at. And then more to the downside. That's that's what I'm watching. You know, if we're really strong this week, today, tomorrow. Uh, then I have to recons reconsider because we hit some major numbers uh, in the uh, market here. If you'll look at, uh, I think one of the most amazing ones here was the NASDAQ because uh, it was uh, pretty much uh, right on here. You've got the, you know, if you look at the COVID thing, you'll be able to see it here. The first red box there was the COVID. You see there back in October, that's what it did. And we did exactly the same amount. I mean, you think these things don't repeat? Shut the front door and raise the rent. If this doesn't you know, get, you know, wet your whistle, nothing does. Now, you had the bottom Friday uh, in the NASDAQ. You had a beautiful 50% retracement off the low that we made in August. Okay, that completes the ABCD up there at the 1.618. So now we're having this rally. And it should be anywhere between a five-day in an eight-day rally, and uh, if it goes beyond eight days, uh, you know we'll see what happens. But uh, it's a very important day today because if we close lower today, uh, and the Dow is acting a little weaker than the rest of it, that don't mean very much. If you if they if we do close lower today or tomorrow, that would trigger that yes, maybe this is the second day down. But uh, a lot of things have happened. It's going to be very interesting to see how these things uh, uh, see what's going on. Okay. Uh, Let's let's look on here. Where other things that we're watching here today uh, is the uh, uh, crude oil market. Now we had some nice moves in crude oil, been up to that to 88 and change level. Uh, it, like uh, JC said, if we close above 90, we could easily go to 100, and we close above 100, we could go to 110. I don't think that's going to happen because to me, it looks like that the crude oil market is making you know some type of a top in here and. You know, that's why I'm uh, watching it so doggone closely. And if you look at gasoline and all the others, it's doing, you know, pretty much the same thing. I'll get the crude up so you can take a look at it here. But this is interesting here. If you like time and price and you like AB equals CD, let's just take a look at this. This is the crude oil chart on a daily basis looking at March crude. Now, you can see the time between A and B. And the time between C and D, guess where that comes in, boys and girls? That comes in tomorrow. So let's see if it means any. Oh, excuse me, on the third, that would be uh, Thursday. But it's it. The, the the completion of the ABC pattern is now complete. That is, it's made the AB equal CD. It hasn't made it in time. The time sequence between the 23rd of August and the 25th of October ends on Thursday. That'll be the the third of. Uh, February. So that's a very important one to watch because, hey, look, I'm just looking at numbers. I know the news, you know, uh, all this other stuff about uh, whatever those countries are, Ukraine. I, I, in fact, Tom Hugard and I were in Ukraine. We were in Kiev uh, five years ago. We gave a seminar. And I'll tell you, I was really excited. We got a lot of people there. Many of them couldn't speak English, but there was interpreters. But there was a lot more than more than 80 percent did speak English. But, you know, the highlight of that trip was people would come up to me and tell me how much they enjoyed the show at TFNN. This is Kiev, Ukraine, folks, on the other side of the world. Their, their, their habits are really different than ours. First of all, they smoke these European cigarettes that kill you, but they don't start eating dinner, supper, till right 9.30 at night. Tom and I went to a restaurant real early, around 5.30. There was nobody there, and we thought it was, you know, one of the— you know, one real just a bad restaurant, but what it was, it was one of the best. In fact, it has the largest selection of whiskeys uh, in the world. They have thousands of different kinds of whiskey, and we neither one of us drink. But we had a really nice dinner. We finished around seven o'clock. There was still nobody there, and then we we walked back to the hotel and we asked the question, and the, you know, they said, "Well, we don't eat here till after eight thirty, nine o'clock," and that's when they fill up their restaurant. So we different me if I don't finish by five o'clock, I'm a zombie. Uh, okay, let's move on. Someone asked a question about uh, my life in the Westlake Village when uh, I was there. I have to work this in because what I want to tell you is a story about the football betting and stuff. Uh, I've had three professional bettors over the years uh, as students, and uh, I'm still in contact with one of them. The other two have passed away, but all they're looking for is an edge. Uh, two of them used to do it. Uh, 
in horse racing. They would bet on the seventh, eighth, and ninth races at the major tracks. And the reason why is the track takes a 16% you know, uh, hickey. In other words, that's what your your vig is when you make the bet. They take sixteen and a half percent right off the top. So what they did was they would look for horses that were very very good horses, the favorites. And at the last part of the races, the races seven, like eight, nine, and ten, the people that are losing start betting on long shots, and that means that the favorites get missed in the betting and they get better prices. And they would bet to show. They knew that betting on a favorite. In the seventh, eighth, and ninth races, wins about 80% of the time. Okay, now if they bet the show, that means it has to finish third, and uh, all they do that. Now, what happens is when you get to that eighth race, if everybody's losing, they start betting on long shots. That means the price that the favorite is supposed to be. Let's say he's supposed to be five to two. All of a sudden, he's no longer five to two. He's five to one, and maybe even, you know, six to one. So his payoff and show is going to be huge. And folks. I watched them. In fact, when I go to the track, that's what I try to do. I use that strategy. Just watch the betting action because you got to follow the money. That tote board is just like what we're doing in these commodities and stocks and stuff like that. It's giving you a picture of what you're looking at. Now, that goes back to my next story. Hold on one second here. It's the story why I don't bet football. It's 1978. I'm working as a broke Drexel broker, uh, and I believe me, I've got lots of clients, lots of coin dealers. Uh, you know, gold and silver was my thing. We'd made a lot of money in the first part of the run here between '76 and '78. We were smoking, and uh, I was betting a hundred bucks a game on three games. Probably, I was betting five, six hundred a day, uh, five or six hundred over the weekend on the games, and I kept really good records. And by golly, at the end of the first year, I was break even. At the end of the second year, I was plus or minus a couple hundred bucks the third year i was plus or minus two or three hundred bucks and then bob gilmillion and leroy linhart those two coin dealers that i deal with they said why don't we just book the bets of all these other coin dealers because they were using the same bookie and we we figured out we had a new bookie we could tell them and that's what we did we start booking the bets and we start making money not a lot of money but we were making some money so that's what we did but how much time do i have i'll cover that at the end of the thing but anyway the reason why it's all related to numbers folks i i don't like to watch football games i quit liking football games back in 1978 i'll tell you that story i'll tell you the story right now and how they ended but i was watching nebraska against oklahoma 1978 and i had the game one i had two hundred dollars on uh on nebraska and oklahoma had the ball on the 40 yard line with three seconds to go i think it was something like that and they called this trick play called the missouri flea flicker where the quarterback takes the ball throws it to the halfback the halfback throws it back to the quarterback the quarterback hands it off to the other halfback and nobody's watching and he runs down the the, the uh the story to, uh, to this end zone and scores his name was elvis peacock and i went nuts I mean, I couldn't believe that I lost that bet. And I'll tell you the, the sequel to this. You've heard it before, but you're going to hear it again. I'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, I'm back, folks. I'll finish the story. It was Westlake Village. The football game was on. I got very upset, said some bad things. My little daughter, I used to sit in my chair on Saturday and get the commodity perspective charts. I had a little desk there on top of my uh, my big lazy boy, and I was doing the charts, and she came up to me. And she said, Dad, can I sit on your lap? And I said, sure. She's about six. She thinks she was six. And uh, she said, Dad, how much money do you have bet on this football game? And I said, $200. She said, is that a lot of money, Dad? And I said, no, honey, that's not a lot of money at all. She says, Dad, why do you get so excited and say such bad words? She says, you don't do that. She says, only during football games. She says, Dad, I'm worried about you. I think you're going to have a heart attack. And I said, Larry, and I said, did your mother put you up to this? She said, no, Dad. She says, it's me. She said, I really am worried. I never bet on a football game after that until two weeks ago. I called her and said, this is a mortal lock. I have to bet $100 on Buffalo. She says, Dad, she says, you're, you're older now. She says, you could do whatever you want. And so I did make that bet on, on the football game, and I didn't even watch it. Because I don't enjoy it, and so I ended up winning a hundred bucks, and I, I gave uh, I gave the money away to somebody that was in much more need of it than me. But anyway, that's why I don't bet on the football games. And when you're betting on these games, folks, if you do bet, you better know what you're doing because these guys they are not stupid, and they are bringing it to you, folks. It's now available on the well, it's been available on the internet for a long time. But here in our little town here, we have three casinos here in Tucson. They all have sports betting. They started it about three weeks ago and it's going gangbusters so boy you're, you're playing a game there that you better be really smart with because they're playing numbers just like we do here in the market there's absolutely no difference at all there really isn't okay let's get back to the markets i know you don't like to hear these stories but by golly here's where we're here's what we're here's my opinion of what we're doing in the stock market today folks this is the dow jones industrial average here you'll see here that uh, we're in the midst of this a b c d swing it uh, looks like we're going to make the 50 percent level here in the dow jones up around 35052 i don't know what the high has been today if someone want to wants to let me know that i would certainly uh like to know because uh, the uh, uh, somebody let me know what the high in the Dow is today because right around that 35,000 level, uh, the 34, the 382 comes in at 34.6, and I think we're above that because we're above Friday's high by a little bit. But 
uh, around 35,100 uh, is, is it, what's been the high of the Dow Jones Industrial Average? There we go. 30, if that's all it is, wow, that's, uh, that's a lot lower than I thought it would be. Anyway, I think that's what's going on, and then we're going to have another, another leg down. The volatility, folks, in all these things is going to increase a lot. So get ready for that. That's going to be something really interesting. So here's here's what I wanted to uh, to show you last night. Here, uh, this is what happened in the in the uh, Dow Jones E Mini, and uh, you'll notice those highs there between the 26th, the 27th, and the 30th. Uh, that, that's around that 34,700, and that went up again back and hit that again later this morning after the Sunday night high. It took it out by about 10 cents. So if we close above that, if we close above 34,700 in that Dowie Mini, that means that we got a chance uh, for something better. But, uh, you know, it's facing some real serious uh, uh, trouble up in this, in my opinion, because we're in the – this is the seventh day of a rally. I know it's hard to believe, but that's what's been happening. It's been so doggone quiet that you don't even see it, but that's what's going on. And, of course, that's my opinion only, so remind yourself of that. Okay. Now, uh, for 34,000, 34,844, not, not in the Dow E-mini. No, 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 no. Unless my data is wrong, and I don't think it's wrong. Well, I'll double check it, but I certainly don't think that. No, the high has been up there in that 34.7 range. We're 34.63 now. And uh, the number in that S&P is 44.63, I believe. We get above that. Then there's going to be some uh, be some uh, fireworks, I think. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that also. Okay, let's uh, move on to a couple other things. I want to go to the uh, Hang Seng Index because we had a real interesting day here. This is the weekly chart of the Hang Seng. Looks terribly bullish. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, or today's New Year's Eve. Tomorrow, they're going to be closed for three or four days over there in Hong Kong, a whole week in China. You notice the big down move last week? Well, they've reversed most of that this morning uh, for absolutely, you know, they just started going higher. and There doesn't need a reason. It just went back up there. So uh, that three drive to a bottom pattern is still valid. As long as we don't go below that, this still looks bullish. And uh, that's what we're looking at here with the uh, – Hang Seng Index over in Hong Kong. I don't trade this at all. I never have. But I do look at it because we have so many friends, uh, relatives. We have relatives over there along with, uh, you know, some stu well, a lot of students. And so that's why I, I keep an eye. And the patterns are pretty much the same. They're not really any different to that. Can someone tell me what the high on the Dow Jones Industrial Average is uh, today or where it is right now? The average itself, INDX. You know, that's what I'd like to do. I, I, I'm doing the YM, and that sells at a discount to that. Uh, I don't have the screen share, so I don't know what that what that means. But if someone would do that, and they're not giving me any help, which is not a big problem because, oh, by the way, if you have any phone calls today, uh, Al told me that it was just too late. He was just overloaded with calls. So, again, we'll have to be reaching out to you tomorrow to get the information that you need. Uh, I don't have a guest for tomorrow, I don't believe, but uh, maybe I do. I can't even see it from over there. Uh, nope, I don't think so. Uh, well, well, whatever we do, 34764. Thank you very much, Flip. I hope you knew, liked Flip Wilson because I certainly like it. That Geraldine was one of the greatest skits I've ever seen. Oh, my God, I love that stuff. Okay, let's move over here. And uh, we'll get to a couple others that we need to watch. And we did that. We did the Hang Seng. I've already did the NASDAQ one. I'll do it again because we're right up here in this area here with the NASDAQ. You'll see the ABCD that's there. If it gets anything above that 14,800, that's the uh, old high from way back on the 23rd. That tells us it's going to go a lot higher. It's still got a lot of gas in the, in the tank here, folks, because it's still running pretty good. That's a good sign for the bulls. But any turn down, any of these days here, you got to be really careful. Now, moving on to one of the favorite stocks of everybody, and that is something that we said was going to happen a long time ago, that we were going to make this ABCD in uh, Apple down there at uh, 1810. The low was, I think, 1791 or 791 or something like that. And we're quite a bit higher than that. But that was a perfect ABCD. It wasn't perfect in time, but it was perfect in price. Stopping right at the 61% retracement of the lows they made last spring. So that's a big ABCD. This market's got to come out of here 
like a rocket. And any any movement below 800 now in Tesla is not going to be bullish. So that's the main thing. I don't even. I, what was the last price on Tesla? Someone want to tell me that because 800 is where the ABCD completed. That was uh, back on the uh, 20. Fifth, so it's been one, two, three, and three days since then. So, uh, Apple. I mean, I would think. Uh, let's see, forty should be trading about eight sixty. Wow, nineteen ten. That's good. It's moving. That's what you want to see. It's moved a hundred dollars already, folks. That's more than ten percent, eleven percent. That's exactly what you want to see happening. Hey, we'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, billable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Well, folks, we just reached those numbers we were talking about in the S&P. 4469, we're now trading at 4470. We made the number in the NASDAQ at 14,770. That was the number we were waiting there for. So those are the numbers. We close above there, folks. We're probably going to go higher for a few days, but we got a few hours left in the trading. So keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, I'll have a guess for tomorrow. I'm not sure who it's going to be yet. I think we're ready for Stan Harley again, but I'll double check to make sure that he has time but uh, those are the main things so keep in mind to folks that the treasury bonds and treasury notes uh, are still looking very bearish on the charts nothing any different in those so we've got a listener here maybe there's a caller coming in here 
Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis will be our guest tomorrow, Al said. So, hey, by the way, I actually know Jamie Lee. She was a neighbor of uh, Jay Cross, and uh, she's really a nice girl. Uh, just uh, just unbelievably nice. Just uh, just really sweetheart. You'd never know that she was a movie star. She's so bubbly and, and very, very smart. Oh, my goodness. She's just uh, – and she, do, she doesn't act much anymore because she doesn't like the acting business. But uh, – I can understand that. That's for sure. All right. Let's move on here and tell you the folks. Uh, keep in mind here, the close is very important here, folks. We need to close strongly. And if we do, then, you know, we're going to have more of a rally. We're in the sixth or seventh day of this rally. How much higher it's going to go uh, is anybody's guess. But the close, of course, is going to be very important. That's another thing. By the way, we had this big move in soybeans that broke out above the highs here. We got all the way up to $14.92 a bushel, and they we're having wild swings today, and those have dropped 30 cents and then rallied back 25 cents. So volatility is here to stay in all of these things. So uh, remember the number here in the uh, YM was uh, 34,714. We're now at 34,729. So that's another one to pay attention to. But for the S&P closes above 44 uh, 4466 that would be a sign that we're probably going to be going higher for the next few days would be my guess but the close today uh, is very very important so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow tomorrow